when the leaves periodic table what he did was that he made many elements to react with oxygen and hydrogen in case of oxygen it would form oxides in case of hydrogen it would form hydrides now when elements would form same kind of oxides let's say li2o na2o k2o or mgo cao calcium oxide or beryllium oxide right or you can go for co2 sio2 right right so these are the elements which form same kind of oxides what he did was that he placed these kind of elements in one group similarly the elements which formed same kind of hydrides he actually placed them in one group right and then he formed his own periodic table you have got the periodic table in your pdf file right now the mendeleev periodic table the statement of mendeleev periodic table is when elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic masses the elements with similar properties occur at regular intervals right what is it when elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic masses when the elements we arrange it in increasing atomic masses the elements with similar properties the elements with similar properties will actually come at regular intervals we are not going to decide whether it will be eighth or it will be, whether it will be third or any kind of such of thing it will just come by itself okay right so in order to do so he made columns right he made vertical columns which were 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 which were called as groups there were eight groups and seven horizontal columns which he called as periods right kid good so this was it mendeleev periodic table now if you could see the mendeleev periodic table we have uh, group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 group 6 group 7 and group 8 with oxides and hydrides written as r2o now r2o which is placed lithium sodium potassium copper rubidium silver cesium and orum that is gold h l i n a k c u r b a g c s and a u now you i hope you get it they actually form r2o oxide r is the elements name of the elements and it forms this kind of oxide hence they are placed in group 1 right or they form lih lithium hydride or nah sodium hydride or kh potassium hydride or cuh copper hydride right cupric hydride so rh is the hydride similarly when we move on to group 2 we have ro and rh2 on just the top right in group 3 we have r2o3 and rh3 group 4 we have ro2 and rh4 group 5 we have r2o5 and rh3 so the elements which form that kind of oxides are actually placed in one kind of group this was mendeleev idea to arrange the um, elements in periodic table right so it was great of course it was better much 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 better than uh, doberiner or newlands right kids so what it did so we need to know the merits of mendeleev periodic table the merits of mendeleev periodic table was that mendeleev periodic law predicted the existence of some elements now if we see we see in group number 3 and group number 4 there are blank spaces dot 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 dot, dot blank spaces left behind why so because he assumed that some or the other something some elements would be discovered later on right <coughs> sorry some elements would be discovered later on and that was what he actually did he um uh he actually left his spaces in the periodic table in order to uh, form uh, in, in order to, uh, he left his spaces in the periodic table in order to a in order with his thought that more uh, new elements would be discovered later on the second you know merit of mendeleev periodic table is that mendeleev periodic table could predict the properties of several elements on the basis of their position of the periodic table let's say if we talk about the properties of the later discovered elements like gallium scandium or germanium he left these spaces there and when we 
talked about okay what are the properties of gallium so this is the property okay place it here okay what are the properties of scandium okay place it here what are the properties of germanium place it here so we could easily place these three elements in the uh, periodic table that was made by Mendeleev. Now that was actually a um, you know merit for Mendeleev because he left positions where he could uh, he, he left the positions and he actually um, made it clear that get this group has this kind of property this group has this kind of property so he actually saw the chemical properties of different elements and then he made the group so when we took the property of gallium and we saw okay this is making this kind of oxide place it here so that was actually a merit right the point number three is Mendeleev periodic table could accommodate noble gases. Noble gases, everyone knows that helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon, right? Now, these <coughs> gases are very inert in nature and very unreactive, right? And when they were discovered later on, they could be provided a separate group in Mendeleev periodic table, and that was a merit, right, kids? Okay, now what are the limitations? Of course, still, Mendeleev periodic table is not followed in today's date. We follow the modern periodic table. Why Mendeley periodic table is not followed is as follows. The first one is position of isotopes. There are many isotopes like chlorine has two isotopes, carbon has three isotopes, hydrogen has three isotopes. The position of isotopes was not explained actually, right? Let's say chlorine, for example, the uh, now since this is the periodic, the periodic table is based on atomic masses, right? Sir, what is the necessity of isotopes? Now, since it is based on atomic masses, therefore chlorine ha 1735 and chlorine 1737. So when it is arranged, then chlorine must have two different positions in the periodic table, right? But they are with that, that they have same properties and how can they be placed at two different places? Secondly, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. If we start 1, 2 and 3, 1, 1, 1, if we start to see it properly, then again the positions of the hydrogen must change but that doesn't happen so that was it the position of isotopes couldn't be explained right now wrong order of atomic mass of some elements could not be explained right now why so for example if we talk about uh, you know this cobalt and iron yeah cobalt and nickel cobalt co has an atomic mass of 58.9 whereas nickel has an atomic mass of 58.7. Now, cobalt was placed before nickel. Why was it placed? No one could answer that. Mendeleev could not, no one not. Mendeleev could not answer that. And that was a uh, big, actually, uh, the big mistake that he did. And it, he was, uh, it was not accepted. The It was one of the causes which why um, the Mendeleev classification of elements was not accepted. Now, a correct position could not be assigned to hydrogen in the periodic table of course yes if we see the periodic table if we see the periodic table hydrogen is exactly placed in group 1 now hydrogen has one atom one atom on its outermost orbit so it is placed with lithium sodium potassium copper and so on but if we see in group number 7 still fluorine also has seven electrons in its outermost orbit so it needs one electron to form its electronic configuration right completely chlorine similarly needs to form electronic configuration. Now, hydrogen could have been placed there because hydrogen also requires one electron to form duplet, right? Now, that was the reason it was asked why why is it placed with alkali metals and not why not, not with those um, halogens, right? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine are called as halogens, right? Why, 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 why is it placed with that? Now, that was the answer. Uh, that, that was the question he could not answer and again, it was not accepted, okay?